Good morning, everyone, and happy Friday. Hope all of you are having a wonderful morning and are ready for some stretching. Uh, my name is Alessia Cormney, and I am in-house with Toyota. I'm also on the board of the um, ACCDFW chapter and a co-chair of the wellness committee that is bringing this great mindful movement May to you. Um, if you had an opportunity to join us last week, um, hope you benefited greatly from it. I know I did. I walked away fe feeling completely re-energized and ready for the weekend. Um, so welcome back. If this is your first time joining um, the, the, the stretching session with us, I hope you will um, again, walk away feeling refreshed and um, with some tips that you can take home and um, utilize on a daily basis. Um, we have Michael Michaels with um, Mega Mobile, who is um, doing these sessions for us. He is, of course, very knowledgeable and will be taking us step by step through the stretching exercises. Today, he will be focusing on um, the importance of stretching. We also have two more sessions planned um, for the rest of the month of May. On May 21st, he will be focusing on how to fit stretching into your busy schedule. Of course, we're all incredibly busy. Um, so we want to figure out how to uh, fit in here and there some stretching to keep us energized during the day. And on May 28th, we're going to have stretching and posture ergonomics. Um, I think with as much time as we spend in front of laptops and computers, it's really important to understand how to be um, ergonomically correct and how to really make sure that our posture is correct. So Michael will be talking through all of this with us. Um, he will be available to answer questions. So if you have any questions throughout, please post them in the chat. He will try to answer as many as he can. And if he runs out of time, he will definitely address those um, later. We're also recording all of these sessions. We know that sometimes you may not catch everything that he's saying and would like to go back. The slides and the recordings of these sessions will be available on our website. So you can always go back and watch them again do the exercises on your time. So it's definitely a resource that our wellness committee um, is putting out for you. In addition to that, um, hopefully you have been following some other activities that our committee has been um, putting out for our membership. We had tea tasting, which was really well attended and um, a really unique and interested activity for, for our membership. We're also planning many other exciting activities in the summer and going forward. So we hope you stay tuned. We are really excited to see that you're taking some time out of your morning to, to focus on you because um, I think we spend so much time trying to take care of others and often forget to take care of ourselves. Um, and we, the Wellness Committee, are uh, really honored to be able to provide the resources uh, to you and um, also just give you a reminder that you do need to stop during the day and focus on your well-being, whether it's physical well-being, mental well-being, emotional well-being, or other aspects of well-beings. So hopefully this will serve as a reminder to you. Uh, and before I pass it on to, to Michael, as I said, recordings will be available on the website. PowerPoint will be available as well. And we will be putting together some additional resources, some checklists and takeaways that you can utilize for um, just use on your own time after this May session is over. All right, Michael. Thank you, Alicia, for the introduction. Um, again, I am Michael Michaels, and I am excited once again to join all of you uh, to bring stretching and exercising to you guys and being more mindful about ourselves and our body as well. First off, I want everyone to know that as we do these exercises, note that if you're unable to do it how I do it or you know exactly what it's supposed to be, um, it's okay that you're not able to do it to the fullest of what it looks like in the picture. Remember, there are always other possibilities and other alternatives 
um, to doing each exercise and ex uh, each stretch that we do. If you need an alternative way of doing it, please feel free to you know, ask or you can email me or anything like that. And um, I'll do the best that I can to uh, get that to you on a different aspect. Uh, let's grab those waters and let's get ready to have some fun stretching and learning how to do all of this. Now we must remember what the importance of stretching and what it involves. Well, what exactly does it do? It helps keep the muscle flexible, strong, and healthy. If we continue to keep our bodies active and moving and stretching, it opens up so much more for the ability for us to be able to do things. It could help improve in making things easier to do in some stance. For instance, like walking, just your everyday like sitting, just comfortable on everything. It helps with everything. It can help improve our posture. How you ask? Well, as you move those muscles, you are putting them back to work, which versus if you're just sitting there, they're kind of becoming stagnant and just staying in one place. And then it becomes sore and then it causes other pains that possibly could become worse and worse the further you go without even stretching. So the more you put it back to work, which in time you'll notice that your posture becomes better. You're sitting up more properly. You're moving around. You're not, a, you're not slouching as much. Your back is feeling straighter, making it easier to sit up straight and move around. That is one of the biggest things, especially if you're just constantly sitting at a desk and you're just working on your computer. A lot of times we're just slouching over. Our shoulders are coming down. Our back is leaning over. So then essentially it's teaching us and it's teaching our body, our muscles to gain that bad posture. So the more we move it, the more we stretch our bodies, the easier everything becomes more active. And then it maintains that good posture that we all need for our everyday movement. It helps with your range of motion from moving your wrists to moving your shoulders, your head. It all depends on the stretches that we do. So everything can all come in a line as far as, you know, helping with everything. It can help decrease back pain from slouching over constantly leaning on things. It can help decrease muscle soreness in your shoulders, your neck, your back, your jaw, everywhere on your whole body. Again, depending on the type of stretch that you do. It can help prevent injury in the future. Not a guarantee, but it surely can help prevent it as much as possible. Let's say, I mean, I've seen, I've seen it happen where People have just walked and stepped off the curb and they wound up, you know, spraining their ankle or even worse, breaking their ankle. A lot of this is because they're not keeping their muscles active. They're not moving it. They're not stretching it out. So essentially, it makes things worse in the long run. So the more we continue to stretch things out, the easier it becomes for our body to adapt to everything. And one of the biggest things, in my opinion, is with the proper stretching and breathing, it can help reduce and or manage your stress that we all have. We all have it one way or another. Now we need to make sure we do everything we can to alleviate or possibly rid that stress. That is the biggest thing we have. Do not forget to make sure that you're drinking plenty of water. I always have water with me everywhere I go. Even if I'm driving somewhere, I have it with me. Make sure um, that you're not just drinking soda and all of these drinks that are very sugary that can uh, counter affect like what exactly it's supposed to be doing to help you. My choices of drink usually are a water or Gatorade. Um, the Gatorade gives you electrolytes that your body is not used to getting from depending on what you eat and what you drink. I try to stray, stray away from the sodas and drinks that have a ton of sugar in them. I actually don't drink caffeine usually as it is. Now, as we move forward onto this next slide, we have what we call the lat stretch. 
what exactly does this stretch do, you might ask? Well, basically, what it does is that you sh it stretches your back, which is something really good because that right there is a big part of our range, range of motion as far as moving our shoulders and our back pain and all of that. This is something that you can do at your desk. You can do at home, almost anywhere that you are. All you need is something to be able to prop your hands on. You can use a chair, you can use a side table. Um, you can even use, um, as you see, if you have to, you can prop your hands against the wall, anything that you can imagine to use to be able to help keep your balance. Now to get started, you're going to stand with your feet hip width apart and your arms by your side. Brace your abdomens, your muscles obviously down at your stomach to stabilize your spine. Now, a good way I tell everyone to brace your abdomen muscles, in other words, make them tight, is to pretend someone is about to punch you in the stomach. Usually when you know someone's about to hit you, your stomach automatically tightens up. So then you're keeping it tight, um, you know, you're, you're contracting them the way it should be. Then as you're doing that, you're gonna pull your shoulder blades down and back. Keep your chest lifted up, make sure we keep it up and keep your chin tilted slightly. As you see in this first picture at the bottom, uh, as you see my arms reaching out, my head is slightly looking forward. This is the first position that we're getting into. Now, let's begin the stretch. You're gonna pull your head down with a slight bend in your knees. You're gonna shift your weight over your heels. Slowly, be, slowly begin bending forward at your hips. Keep your abs, abdominal muscles, braced and your back as flat as possible. It's very important that we do not round our back where it looks kind of like a mountain, I guess, as you could call it. And it's very important that we're not pulling it down as well, the opposite direction. We wanna to try to keep that nice, flat, straight back as much as possible. Place your hands on the table, chair, or whatever you're using to brace yourself. Keep your arms straight so there is a line from your shoulders going to your elbows, to the wrist with your hands on whatever you're holding on to, whether it be a table or a wall or a desk or whatever. Everybody has something different, whether you're at home or at, or at work. Keep your legs directly under your hips. Lean back into, into your hips, straighten your legs and draw your body towards the ground. Make sure that you're maintaining a flat back while doing this stretch. Keep your chin tucked into your neck to stabilize your spine and keep your head from dropping towards the floor like this, completely down and hold this position for 15 seconds. We're gonna do this position, we're gonna hold it for 20 seconds. We're gonna begin this, ready and hold for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Then come up and relax a little bit. It's very important that you do this probably about three to five times if you're able to do it. We wanna make sure that we're not pulling our back straight down if you're unable to reach down flat all the way, that's okay. Continue in this stretch and slowly over time, the more that you do this, the more 
flexible, it becomes and easier for you to be able to be in this position. Again, it's very important. I don't know if anybody noticed how I counted. We don't want to just go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's counteracting the whole holding position. A lot of people like to just, you know, count as quickly as possible and try to get through that stretch as quickly as possible. It's very important that we focus on the stretch itself um, to focus on the counting as we're doing it, our breathing as we're doing it, you know, keep, keep the mindset on exactly what you're doing. We're gonna do this one more time again. Keep your arms holding on to whatever you're using, a table, a chair, a wall, whatever works best for you. You're gonna tuck your head in, keep it in a line, chest here. We're gonna make sure you breathe in between of these. We're gonna do it for 20 seconds again. Ready, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Now, take a drink real quick. We're gonna move on to the next stretch. It's very important that we try to Keep our body hydrated. I can't stress that enough. Now, our next stretch we have is called the quad stretch. Now, what exactly does this help? Well, it stretches your thighs and it improves your flexibility for your legs. It helps with movement as you're able to, you know, walk around and move around. Now, for this, this is something that you can do standing, or if you need to, you can sit and a chair, but it's, it's really more uh, something that you can stand, you can do it while you're waiting for something. If, you're, if you have to stand, let's say you're in the kitchen and someone's in the way, you can do this real quick. So use, if you, if you have to use something to help with your balance, because not everybody can just balance on one leg, you can use anything again, use the wall, use a table, whatever works for you. I suggest using something that will help you stay balanced on that one foot because essentially we are gonna be on one leg. Now to get started, you will stand with your feet together and your arms by your side. Make sure that you're comfortable in the spot that you chose. You wanna make sure that you have good, sturdy ground underneath you that you're Ankle's not gonna roll over or anything like that. Also while uh, doing this, it'll strengthen your ankles because you're standing on that one foot. So it's keeping, it's keeping and making the muscles in your ankles even stronger. Now let's get started. What you're gonna do, you're gonna put your right hand on the wall or what left hand, it doesn't matter, or table or whatever spot you choose for support. You're gonna balance on the one leg that you're standing on and you're gonna bend the opposite leg at the knee. You're gonna bend it back, bringing it up until you can grab the ankle. Or if you can't reach your ankle, you can also grab your toes or whatever, something to be able to at least just hold that leg up. You're gonna take five deep breaths as you're doing this, make sure as you're standing in this position, you keep your chest lifted always. We don't wanna drop our shoulders or drop our chest as we're doing it. So we're gonna hold it uh, in this position. You're gonna pull that leg behind it. Let's take a deep breath. One, two, three, four, and five. Now let's switch our legs and we're gonna do the same thing on the opposite leg. You're gonna stand on the opposite leg that you just did. Make sure we're keeping it tight. 
and firm. Again, you wanna make sure you're standing on something that stabilizes your leg, your foot, something that's gonna, not gonna keep you from moving. We're gonna do the same thing. You're gonna take five deep breaths as we're doing this. Again, keep our chest up and our shoulders forward and our head forward as well. You're gonna pull that leg up. We're gonna take five deep breaths as we're doing this. One, two, three, four, five. Again, I say deep breaths. Notice I'm not just going and then moving on. It's very important that we are mindful on how we are breathing through each exercise, through each stretch. Our breathing helps so much with our muscles and our body just relaxing itself. So then essentially it makes it easier to do all of these stretches. Now that we have that done, we stretched our quads. Let's go outside the box. This next stretch is kind of funny looking, but it helps so much with the stress. This is called the goldfish exercise. What exactly can this do, you might ask? Well, it helps relax your jaw and relieve stress tension built up in your jaw. Now, we, the everyday person talks a ton. So that jaw is constantly moving, constantly going, and it builds up tension right here. And it builds up the stress from just constantly moving our jaw and everything building up on it. This is something that you can do standing, you can sit, you can do this literally anywhere and everywhere. I don't advise just doing it in public, then you'll get a whole bunch of stares because you're standing there with your mouth open. So for this, let's get started. What you're going to do, either you can stand up, you can sit, do it in your chair, whatever is most comfortable for you. Okay, now as we get in position to do this exercise, you're going to, as you see the picture, relax your tongue, make sure your head is forward. You're again, keeping your chest up. You're gonna put one finger in front of your ear where your jawbone and cheekbone meet right here. They call that the TMJ. You're gonna put your middle finger or pointer finger, whichever finger works, you're gonna put it at your chin right here. You're going to drop your jaw, obviously, halfway, and then close. There should be a mild resistance but you don't want to do it to where it's painful, where you're jerking your jaw down and it's causing a lot of pain. A variation of this exercise is to place one finger on each side as you drop your jaw. You can do it like this, where you have it on one of each side and do the same thing again. It doesn't matter. You can do it either way, whatever way is most comfortable for you. You want to do this about, you know, six times throughout the day. It's good to do sporadically, obviously. Again, we're constantly moving our jaws. We're constantly talking. So it's good to make sure that we're stretching it. Now, again, let's get some water. We did that. We stretched it out. Now, if you're standing, great. If you're not, let's stand up and get ready for this next exercise. We call this the side bend. What does this help? This helps stretch your back and more on your lower back. So make sure you're standing up and stand tall. You're gonna place your feet and legs together. You want it about, when I say together, you want it about shoulder width apart. I don't want directly together because then it makes it a lot harder to balance and everything like that. You're gonna keep your head forward 
and you're gonna gaze, look forward on whatever you're doing. So make sure you're just looking for it. Let's begin this. You're gonna reach both arms over your head. You're gonna put your fingers together and point them. You can either put them together or you can do as I have it as well. You can kind of clasp them together, but you're gonna have it up to the ceiling just like this. Make sure we're stretching it up tall. Align your biceps with your ears, keeping your arms right next to your ears. Squeeze, squeeze tight, making them tight and activate your core muscles as you're doing this for your balance. What I mean by core muscles, I mean your abs and everything like that. You're gonna take a breath in as you do this. You're gonna gently bend your body to one side. As you're doing this, you're gonna exhale slowly. Slowly as you're exhaling, you're gonna lengthen through your hips, through your ribs. You're gonna put the other arm over. Make sure we're keeping it stretched as we're holding it over. You wanna hold this for about 10 to 15 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Then you slowly go back to the original position and you will go and do the same thing for the other side. Again, hold it for about 10 seconds. Make sure we're exhaling as we're doing the stretching to each side. Again, this is something that can be done anywhere. You can do it in between walking, from one place to the other. Make sure after, again, you do all of these stretches, we're getting plenty of water. We stretch out our lower back, we're gonna move on. And for this, you need a little bit of space. We call this the hamstring stretch. What exactly does this help? Well, this stretches out your hamstring. You're constantly on your feet, you're moving, or even just sitting around. It's important that we're stretching this out so that it does not become tight because when muscles just sit there, they eventually just tighten up and it causes stress in your body and then it causes pain. This could cause pain in the future easily just from not being properly stretched out. So have a seat. If you have a mat, you can sit on that, the floor, whatever works for you. You can, if possible, if you're at the office, take a yoga mat or any kind of mat that you have available and just kind of keep it there. So you're gonna sit there. We're going to be in the sitting position. What you're going to do is you're gonna have one leg straight. You're gonna have the opposite leg. You're gonna bend it and put your foot at your knee. You're going to, as you're in this position, we're going to reach down as far as you can go. If you can reach your knee, your ankle, your toes, it doesn't matter. Go as far as you can. As you reach out, you're going to hold it for 10 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. After that, you're gonna switch your legs, do the opposite leg, make that leg straight and then pull the other leg, bend it right at the knee and put it your foot at the straight leg's knee. Again, you're gonna reach down to your knee, your ankles, your shins, whatever you can reach. And you're gonna hold that again for 10 seconds. Counting in your head, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Now we have one last stretch. I'm gonna go through it a little bit quicker just because we're kind of running a little behind on time, but that's okay. I wanna make sure that all of you at least know this stretch. We call this the leg swings. Now, 
what exactly does this do? Um, this helps align our hips. It keeps everything in place. It's very important that we keep our hips aligned and it makes it easier for walking, just overall more comfortable. Most people don't realize that a lot of times your hips can be out of place. They can be turned out to one side more than the other. Then it just makes everything a lot less comfortable and it could cause more pain in the future as you're trying to walk or move around. Now, what we do on this, again, you wanna make sure you're standing, have something to hold on to, uh, an object of any sort to keep your balance. You're gonna rest your arms on a chair or desk or whatever for support. Stand tall with your back straight and your chest out like this. You're gonna raise one leg up as high as you can to the side while keeping the opposite leg locked and straight. You're gonna swing that leg down in front of the stationary leg, then gently swing the leg side, gradually going higher each time. You will do this for both legs, just alternate them both, you know, kind of keep them moving back and forth. You wanna do this, you know, anywhere from 10 to 15 times if you can, as you do this. I wanna thank y'all all again for, you know, joining us as we do these stretches, as we continue to be mindful of everything and be more aware of the mindfulness of our mind, our head, our body, everything, our stretching. Let's look forward to next week where I'm going to go over how stretching can be worked into my busy schedule without taking a lot of time away from my family life, my work schedule, anything like that. Again, if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to ask. And I look forward to seeing everybody there. Thank you. Michael, thank you so much. This was absolutely fantastic. Just what I needed this, this Friday morning. Um, I have to say you would be very, very proud of me. I drank a whole bottle of water while doing my stretches. And my favorite was the sideband. Um, definitely uh, will try to do that next week to really felt the flow of energy through my body. Um, again, thank you so much to everyone for joining us today. We hope you will come back next Friday at the same time for more um, greatness um, and, and great tips on stretching. Thank you all and have a wonderful weekend.